Hey everybody, it's uh, Brian from quantlabs.net. We got a new microphone, so uh, we shouldn't have any issues with sound. Um, so, let's get on with today's lesson and video. Being from Canada, um, we have limited number of brokers. And this uh, country is so backwards in terms of supporting um, uh, larger profile uh, prop shops, high frequency trading shops. It's, it's, yes, it's safe to be conservative, but it's not fun to be able to be technology friendly. What you're looking at is probably one of the number one open source trading platform in the world that we want to use. I've been tracking it for over a year called TradeLink. Looks good, played with it, haven't had any real issues with it thus far. These are the supported brokers that we have so far. Um, now, I know that they handle uh, interactive brokers as well. Um, I know that if I come under the TradeLink uh, connectors, these are what's available. So I know I have IQ feeds, I verified that. IQ, or sorry, interactive brokers, IQ feed. Those, those are who I'm gonna work with right now. Now, if you look at here, we have Sterling Pro. That Sterling Pro right here is this company, Sterling Trader. Uh, let me just show you what we got to deal with with the uh, trading uh, for a trade link with Sterling Pro. Something called Stir Config, fair enough. Um, Sterling, blah, 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 blah. You can use Stir, a trade link with Sterling or any broker with Sterling. Okay, so that opens up another world. Okay, so. We posted a question to the support at, uh, at uh, the guys over at Sterling Trader, got back a list of brokers that are available uh, for Canada. Now, remember, we have really are right now uh, with a reputable broker, the only one that I would go with is TradeLink. Uh, sorry, the connector's here, hang on here. Uh, where am I? Okay, so as I said, all I have really is this interactive broker. So that's who all I really have. Now, the Sterling uh, trading came up, looks good. Execution looks good. You can go through all these brokers, for all these exchanges, kind of like on an institutional level, something that I would be interested in exploring. All right, so up comes number one. We have this Jitney Pro. Now, this broker uh, sounds good. I've talked to somebody in the Toronto office here. Um, but, uh, you know, they have a minimum requirement of a hefty amount that, uh, you know, I, I think uh, shouldn't be a big deal from our end. Obviously, they have more of a Montreal office here, uh, more for retail traders, who I want to go with for just to test them out. Gave them a call. Uh, they said, well, we need to have an agreement with Sterling Pro. And then Sterling Trader or whatnot has to have an agreement with TradeLink. It just was, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, and another option that came up was um, this uh, company called <coughs> World Capital or something like this. This is where it starts to get kind of shady. Um, and I'm on this Trade to Win website. Um, there are this world trading company or something. Uh, hang on here, let me uh, find the actual name of the company. Uh, world Trade Securities in Montreal. Um, founded by the people at Swift Trade. Now, anybody that knows about Swift Trade is questionable. Um, $500. Uh, they want serious candidates. These are for independent traders. Profitable scam, and then the alarm bells go off. Um, I don't know. Uh, this is where it gets kind of dicey. And uh, I don't know. I don't know, Canada. Get your crap together. Uh, seriously, man. If you really want to get some uh, really big shops coming to this country, uh, putting me through this is not fun. Um, you know, I have all more reasons just to stick with our good friends at this company. Um, interactive brokers they don't put me through this monkey jumping through hoops and getting approval and an agreement with this and that um, so there you go 
lessons to be learned about Canada trading and all the fun stuff that uh, can be kind of, uh, I don't know, mind-boggling. Have a good day.